Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, as you can see by the screen and the title, we're gonna be going over how to add fur to your mockups on Adobe Illustrator. So right here, we have the Adobe version. Here's a little close up. And then right here, we have the real life version. So first things first, go ahead and grab the ellipse tool by holding down this button right here and selecting ellipse tool or by selecting L on your keyboard and then make a circle. After that, we're gonna make sure it's a gradient by selecting this right here, and then go to edit gradient. Or you can go to window and then go all the way down to gradient. So this panel can pull up. Now we're gonna go ahead and select edit gradient. And again, I suggest having a reference photo so you can like grab the colors from that fur hood and have it on the gradient so we can kind of get that ombre effect once we blend it all together. So just grab one of these circles and then grab the eyedropper tool and select all over the picture. And just grab different colors. You can add more, move them around. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. And now I'm gonna go to effect, distort and transform, and then roughen. Go ahead and set the detail to 52. And then let's mess with this a little. And I think I'm gonna go with that. After that, copy and paste this. And what we're gonna do is mess with the effect one more time so you can click roughen right here or go back up to effect and select it from there and we're just going to tweak it a little there we go. click ok and then we're also going to mess with this gradient a little also there we go subtle not too much but again it's all depending on you so now we're going to select both of these Grab the blend tool and then select both of them. Select the blend tool again. Change the spacing to specified steps and then go up to 30. Let's see how it looks. And boom, you got fur. Pretty perfect. Actually, one thing I forgot to do is make sure these were aligned. So you can go ahead and select both of these and then align them right here. Boom, and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this one off, shrink this one down. This one might need to be a little bit, yep, perfect. And now what I like to do is place one right here, grab the curvature, actually I lied. <laughs> I like to place it in the middle. Grab the curvature tool. And go ahead and form it to the hood or whatever garment or object you're putting it on. And boom. Let me know if you guys think this is pretty accurate. Let me know what you guys thought about the tutorial and what you guys want to see in the next video. Until then, see ya.